Welcome back to Solar Impulse TV, live from the Mission Control Center in Monaco. My name is Kari Lundgren, and it is a pleasure to welcome you back. Now, two hours ago, Solar Impulse 2 and Bertrand Picard were arriving at the Golden Gate Bridge, and we have some live, beautiful, not live, some beautiful footage from that flight. So, here it is. Fantastic images, aren't they? It's just yeah. stunning. Beautiful. Um, I think we saw Alcatraz, Angel Island, the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, Oakland. Uh, so, yeah, unbelievable. Uh, those images are great. Yeah. Uh, I should remind our viewers, I'm here with Raymond Clair, who's, uh, Clair, who's our mission director, uh, and it's great to have you back on the show. We're Actually, let's look at the map again, and you can talk us through a little bit how it was to organize this whole flyover, which I'm sure everybody in San Francisco, I know my family was there watching, and they said it was absolutely fantastic. So explain, walk us through how it all happened. Yeah, so first of all, uh, the first idea to make this photo shooting came during the flight. Okay, so this was uh, because before we were concentrating on the flight itself to cross the Pacific, and then we realized, okay, we have some time to spend before the landing because, you know, we land only at night due to the wind and, and thermics. So... Uh, the good idea was uh, wh why not to make a repetition of the flight three years ago? And the funny thing is, it was exactly the same day three years ago when we flew with the first the aircraft yeah, that's amazing. over the bridge over Alcatraz. So, uh, what we prepared is, is uh, what you see here the red line is the limit for the densely populated um, area. So, we are allowed to fly within the red zone, but not in this circle. Huh? And then we defined uh, two areas to make the, the shootings, one over the bridge and one for to have the city. So this is box number one, box number two. 
And the first rotation with the helicopter with the nice sunny lights was... And I guess um, we should mention that it's André Borschberg who was in the helicopter. André Borschberg yeah. was in the, the helicopter. Other pilot yes, of course. Too. That's a very good point. And he is very... <laughs> Uh, uh, he, he has a lot of experience with both the helicopter and the solar impulse, so I think he's the best pilot to, to bring the Jean Revillard, the picture, the, the photographer, yep. at good positions, so th they are making amazing job. <laughs> and really, so the first rotation with the sun was here. We knew that the Cyrus are coming, and it was exactly so. Luke forecast was perfect. Yeah. Also, we could see that the light was changing, but what the intention was also to have uh, the lights of the city during the night or the evening. Yeah. And, and, and the second rotation, we flew a little bit on this box, and we came to Alcatraz, and we had, we had, we had those amazing pictures with the city. Really, wow, that's another great <laughs> moment of this flight. Huh? Now we have to stay focused for the next. Next, next operation flight. is the landing. So uh, what, we are, what we are doing, now we are going out to the I sea again. I was just going to say, maybe yeah, we can get, no, 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 I was going to ask, uh, ask if we can maybe get sure. the Google map back. Maybe we can pop that on the screen. It's, I'm not sure if that's possible, because then you can explain the mm -hmm. whole thing. Yeah. It looks like, ah, well, there's well, a okay. bigger Here we map. see all the pattern we flew. Enfin, we flew. <laughs> Berto <laughs> flew. <laughs> it feels but, that way, doesn't it? It's yeah, like here in the MCC, here. it's almost as uh, we would like. Uh, we would be in the cockpit, huh? <laughs> it's, uh, and and we gave some corrections here. You see, it's perfect, just following the red line, not to go uh, on on DPA. So it was really a, a, a very good performance of Bertrand. Fantastic. And here you can see he's on his way exactly. south. Exactly. So uh, we came out of the bay going south towards uh, Half Moon Bay about, which is uh, a little bit more south. Yeah. yeah. We'll Down here. We see uh, the airport is here. There. And then I think, is that and Half then Moon Bay there? I think this it, is half, yes. moon, half, half Moon Bay. <laughs> I'm tired, sorry. <laughs> so we'll fly over the sea, make maybe some holding until we have wind conditions correct here, then we'll climb to 5,000, cross the hills, and come down for landing. We expect to land on runway 3 to left. Um, and a reminder to our viewers, this is Moffett Airfield, southeast of San Francisco, Mountain View, California, heart of Silicon Valley, and this is what, and very, a very historic airfield as well. It is, yes, and uh, we were, three years ago, we were in this hangar here, now on, we are on this side with the mobile hangar we saw before the live. Here we see the mounting of the mobile hangar. And uh, if we can ca go back on, on Google map, please. Yeah, maybe we'll go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, most probably we'll come uh, over the, the bay here and make a left, uh, sorry, a right hand uh, downwind two, two nautical miles final on runway 32 left. The wind is coming from the northwest. Actually, it's 10 to 12 knots and should go down after 11 o'clock local. So yeah. maybe remind our viewers what sort of landing, I mean, what do the wind conditions need to be for solar impulse to be able well, to land safely? Maximum 10 knots uh, wind component in general and maximum 4 knots crosswind, crosswind. component. All yeah. right. So we have uh, the wind in, in the good direction. Uh, we land on the left runway, which is uh, smoother than the right one. We experienced <laughs> this three years ago, and we got a message also from the head of airport recommending the left runway. And our guys, Tahan uh, and, and, and the team, made a check. So we choose this runway, the, the touch run point. Because the be deputy flight directors, they often go out onto the airfield and they actually to check, check everything, everything. Yes, and, yes. And, and, and coordinate with the fire brigade and, and the ATC controllers. So the touchdown point will be, will be a beam this uh, taxiway and a beam this one if we land here, but we will for sure not land in this direction because of the tailwind. And those will be, let's see, they'll have, uh, is it the green lights first and then the red lights yeah, for braking? What, what we do is, uh, as we don't uh, always land on the big end of the runway, uh, we position green lights uh, on the runway for, du during night. Huh? So the pilot knows, okay, this is my touch down point, and then we position also red lights. That's where the catching crew is waiting to uh, grab the aircraft. And where it can hit the brakes. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe we can go back to the view of the mobile hangar, or the soon-to-be mobile hangar, mm -hmm. and yeah. you can tell me a little bit what what have the what have the ground crew been doing, and what remains to be done before Solar Impulse lands. Okay, so it takes about normally six hours to to mount the mobile hangar and to have uh, the aircraft uh, safe in it. So. This time is the first time this year that we mount it, and we have some new guys, so it's also some, uh, something like a training. And they, they are just starting to inflate here. You see, uh, it's just beginning to inflate. There are, I think, 12 different modules. Yep. So they will assemble the half of them, so we'll have a half cocoon ready. Mm -hmm. Then we'll uh, uh, bring the aircraft sidewise uh, sidewards uh, in it, and and then they will bring the second half part of the after close, part. Yeah, the close and the then we have of course to anchor this uh, mobile hangar in the ground. And the funny thing is, with the wind, if the, if we have wind, it's not going to be drifted to the to the <laughs> side. Yeah, it's going to to fly like a wing. Yes, because of the of the curve of the mobile hangar, it's acting like a wing. Oh, so, so it we actually have to anchor the, down. the mobile hangar <laughs> down rather than sideways. Oh my goodness, you definitely wouldn't <laughs> want it to suddenly lift up. Yeah, so this is, it's all inflatable. And this is actually material from the sailing industry, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. And, and those guys who are mounting the, the mobile hangar are the same as uh, the guy catching the aircraft. Huh? It's the yeah. same team. Same team. Yeah. And that'll be the, the head of them is Niels. We see him right here there. with the red red jacket. Yeah. And actually, maybe remind as many people, commercial aircraft, you never have anybody on the runway when a commercial aircraft is landing. But in this case, we will have between 15 and 20 people yeah. on the runway, people on bicycles. And yeah, so this is completely crazy. So, you know, <laughs> that's why we ask Greg to discuss with the authority, because he's not a pilot and he, he don't think it's crazy. Because if Greg I ask, is our marketing yeah, director. If yeah. I go to an airport director and I ask, I want to have 20 people on, on site, he will tell me, you were a pilot. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it makes sense to have somebody who's sort of a, 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 not a pilot sort of come in and explain yeah. that. Um, goodness, well, this is, oh, we're back to, yeah, well, let's actually, I think that's probably a good way to wrap up our chat is to look back at these lovely footages from the Golden Gate. Um, I think that, it, actually, probably one of the most important things we should remind our viewers is when should they expect a landing? Yeah, good question. Uh, we think about half past 11 uh, p.m. there, local, local time, which will be 8.30 European time, uh, if I'm correct, but I think so, yes. Yeah, So excellent. here we see two hours, 39 minutes. We set the, take, the, the time, the landing time for half past 11, but of course, it will depend on the wind, uh, wind conditions. From, from the, the sea, from the shore, until the landing, we count about one hour. So if you are in Mountain View, you might want to step outside at around that time and look up. You might see an amazing dragonfly with LED lights flying overhead on its way to Moffett Airfield. We will be continuing to update you throughout uh, the morning until Solar Impulse lands, and our, our uh, landing show will start an hour before the landing, and we will definitely be keeping you updated Thank you very much. That's it from us here at Solar Impulse TV. We will be with you shortly. Yes.